luxurious, spacious, first class. I could see why you put down on the aft of the ship here, so you just see the back side of everything. Yeah, well, it's not it's not as luxurious and spacious as a first class suite would be. Do you do mind if I just put my stuff down here? Thank you. Uh, so I am promptly on time. You are expecting a haircut here, aren't are you? Yeah, they couldn't be bothered to see me down in our little barber shop here on our Farquad cruise ship. No, you decided to order the cabin service haircut. Right, uh, just so you know, a cabin service haircut is very, very expensive. And you will probably find that if you came down to see me in the in our barber shop on board the cruise ship here, that you would have found out it had been probably quarter of the price of what it's going to be. Uh, now it's going to be a little bit expensive, but I suppose it's better to sink your money into something that's worthwhile and have a third class cabin than have a luxurious cabin but have no luxury aboard. Yes, that's that's my thinking anyway. So are you enjoying your holiday thus far? Oh, sorry. <laughs> I didn't realize you, you had stopped talking. Uh, yeah, um, great. And also, <laughs> are you looking forward to our destination? Oh, you stopped again. Apologies there. Uh, I keep drifting off. No, no offense, but I find you a little bit of a bore. Yeah. So, how about we just throw away all the curtsy, shall we? Um, Let's begin discussing your haircut here aboard the cruise ship. Okay, so as we sail off into the horizon, and probably for you, you will watch that horizon disappear. Okay, you won't see all the nice part, though you do get the sunset here, which is actually quite nice. Um, as you drift off the horizon in your, in your tiny, thin cabin here aboard the ship, you get to relax in a luxurious haircut. That's one of the perks of these ships. We have all these little things where instead of you going to the places aboard the ship, this is part of the experience for you to relax, get pampered, feel good, and have all the time you need for you. It's something that I would say to, I don't know, Lord Farquhar, he's the owner of this cruise ship. And for you, I'd say uh, you're gonna have a haircut tonight. Yeah, I don't know if it's going to be relaxing for you. I don't know if you'll get the haircut which you want. There'll be a lot of snipping and, and probably a little bit of a head massage there and clean up a little bit of that. Well, whatever you call that around your chin there. Probably food actually. Were you recently at the buffet? Or you can eat, isn't it? Very tempting for someone like you. Mm, hard to control yourself. Mm. Well, okay. So, your haircut, may I suggest, with my most humble and experienced opinion, that we opt for something holiday-esque, something refreshing, something that's going to make you feel like you're glowing, make you feel like perhaps you're a class above the class that you're currently representing for yourself at the moment. That can be done with the haircut. And if I style it accordingly, then I'm sure we'll be able to achieve something perfect like that. You know, there's going to be a lot of this going on if you just permit me to make the haircut in which I think will be suited for you. Perfect. And that is the correct decision. When you pay an exceptionally extortionate amount of money, then you want to make sure that the barber in question is going to have his own idea. You've got to let him influence your hair and and style it how he thinks it's going to be styled. That way you're going to get your money's worth, I'm sure. Mm. Yeah. So let's set aside the tools. There's going to be a mixture of tools we're going to be using. I'm going to use a little bit of scissors. Okay. It's going to be a little bit of spray bottles. Just getting you acquainted a little bit. Okay. There's going to be a little bit of a shave, I assume, in there. A bit of pampering. Uh, you definitely need some cream here. 
and had a bit of extra there as well. Your skin is terrible. A little bit of stirring pot. This could be some gout, which you definitely need because uh, well, I don't know actually because your clothes already look terrible. There's going to be some brushing, and there's going to be no doubt some little bit of trimming there as well. So all of these tools and maybe a couple more of the I think are going to be suited to uh, tackle your I mean style your hair give you an appropriate haircut for your holiday does that sound great of course it sounds great I said it right so how about we try to stimulate some hair on the top of your head maybe stimulate some brain cells in the process there as well so water that has been dumped over the side and then filled up but the thing about this particular water is this sea salt is exceptionally good for your hair I assure you that it's uh, completely 
perfect for stimulating hair growth, make your hair roots nice and strong, you know, all of that stuff, and perfect for styling as well. Uh, so don't worry about if your hair feels pretty horrible in a second. So probably an inch all around, does that just sound okay? Okay, we flip that over there, but keep it all loose. And uh, the thing is, it wants to, this will smarten you up, but it will still go with your casual, uh, or your very casual look that you're supposed to at the moment, but I think that will look good, yeah. Right then, so you just relax, I don't know if you want to look at the horizon as we drift off and I shall just So let's keep it going. Learn when you become a barber 
on a cruise ship or any cruise ship or if you're out of sea and doing anything that you've got to make sure you've got your sea legs on you at all times because of course if it was a little bit wavy luckily for you it's as calm as a mill pond that it's very still so we're not going to have any unexpected accidents along the way though I can perform a superb haircut with my sea legs in a perfect storm out in sea as well so that's just one of the testaments to my luxurious arsenal of gifts which I possess in the world of barbershops. cutting here. Water. I mean, uh, some hair tonic is going to be in order here. Which is just a little bit in there. Not too much, though. Not too much. Okay. So I'm going to add some little bit of layering around here just to create that nice sort of volumized look on either side. So it's going to be very traditional, almost period looking though it's going to be very smart, so you're going to be able to style it in uh, many different ways. So you can have the shaggy look, sort of carefree. If you take the comb here, you take your fringe there, lift it up over a little bit there, then maybe add a little bit of water here. Okay, not too much, and that will put a little bit of hairspray in there, perhaps, and that will set it up, and that will keep you a nice smart look. You can even pull that off going to dinner. Or you can take the volume there, which how to sort of layer it, tuck it behind your ears there, okay, so it'll be tucked over behind there, so very slicked back, looking really smart, almost like you're one of your first class people on Titanic or something, same sort of principle water here really, okay, so I'm just going to add a little bit of layering here, I think this is going to look really good on you, I'll just keep it nice and still for me, this can be done in tandem, necessary. Oh, no, this, this one's just for my purpose. I think a bit of your head might have dropped on to my, my hand there. Do we, do we don't want that really, do we? Okay, so a bit of a trim. Okay, so this is literally using the 
buzzer and we're gonna just do a little bit of trimming around here for you. So much better on you. It's a good job you saw me really because I doubt that any barber or any old barber you might find at some, I don't know, other barber shop place. Why well, you wouldn't come see me all the time? I wouldn't know. Um, any old barber would just produce something very lukewarm and disappointing. Whereas you leave it to someone experienced like me, and because you're on your holidays as well and you get to really truly relax and enjoy yourself, then whilst you relax, I create a masterpiece on top of your head. You're welcome. How about a little bit of a stimulating head massage there? There we go. That has been tidied up a lot more, looking really fresh. I haven't started for you just yet. Okay. seen just a little bit of, shall we say, residual hair, some castaways, some stowaways. Um, yeah, just a little bit there. Okay, just uh, your sideburns there, a little bit there as well. So if you permit me, I can focus for you. Good. No problem at all. So, get a little bit here. This 
is a what little preference you prefer. Would you like something a little bit more traditional, a little bit more woody? This has a very nice sharp sound to it. Okay. Or would you like prefer a slightly more sleek version? Uh, this is a little bit softer. Feels nicer on the skin, um, but it's your choice. There, both will have new blades included in there as well, of course. Great. Let's add new blade in there. Excellent. Said, I'm going to just add a little bit of, shall we say, rejuvenating facial balm. This is kind of like a hair tonic or something like that. This has all the perfect ingredients for a post shave something, and that counts as a little bit of a shave in there. Of course, like you can shave anywhere else, but uh, just there and there, it would be looking great. So make sure that this is uh, not going to encourage new growth. It's going to be good for your pores. Okay, let's add a little bit in there. Yeah, add a little bit in there as well. So I'm just going to be creating this little tonic here, which is going to help. Yeah, uh, there we go. You might feel that just burn a little bit. 
let's just close it up all your pores. It's exceptionally cold and of course it's got a little bit of, you know, when you have a chewing gum and you feel it go through the airways. Yeah, it's a little bit sort of mentally, yeah, attached to it. Okay, it's very refreshing and really good for you. Do a little bit of styling, but first, how do you a little bit there? And there, uh, we've done a little bit of work there. Okay, maybe just uh, brighten up your complexion a little bit there. As it is somewhat well, let's just say it's a, I'd say it's the third class look, you know, really sort of dazed and doesn't really know what's going on. Yeah, so uh, let's. Smart enough for complexion, you don't know, you might be called in for a late supper with the caption tonight or something like that. You just never know, do you? So, you wouldn't just think that you've, or you just say and be a blabbermouth and say that you've had the barber, or I come visit you and style your hair, cut it, and then not to look exceptionally marvelous. Right. So, we're going to just finish off a little bit here. I'm going to have a Like little, just a sort of perfecting cut here. Just anything, any sort of loose ends that I see where they shouldn't be. And this is to make sure that you are entirely comfortable with the cut. Everything's looking amazing. Yeah. Okay, just get a little bit there. there. These sort of loose ends are really quite unique hair of yours doesn't perform in the same way that uh, other people's hair does as in just look you know nice you know what I think that's complete Let's get to styling that for you. So we're going to use some of this specially formulated seawater. I mean, <laughs> barbershop spray here and tonic. We're just going to pop it on here. Okay, and this is what I recommend to do. Just add a little bit to a comb or something like that. Do you have, did you pack a comb? I'll get one sent to you. Okay, we're going to pop it on your fringe here and then we're going to equally pull it back. It feels great, doesn't it? There we go. Same again, just pull it back there and then style that over. So I'm going to give you this sort of dinner look at the moment. You never know, you might go down to the galley and what, go in a, to the dining area and have something to eat late at night. I don't know what if you'd like to do, enjoy yourself. At least you're going to be looking smart now, that's for sure. Okay, so we'll pop that over there, yeah. Which way do you, put, do you normally have it? That way. No, that's wrong. I, I would say this way makes you look ten times better. That suits you so much more. Yeah, keep it like that. No, don't change it. Keep it like that. That will be really good to you, no doubt. Guaranteed to get compliments with your hairstyle that way. Okay, so down there. Down there. There. And there. Done. Okay, let's just brush you down here. So yeah, that's, that's looking good. That's looking really good. Careful with the hair. Careful with the hair. There we go. Now let's clean my gown a little bit. Okay. So you can apply sort of hairspray and things like that. And I think that would set it all uh, for you, though you wouldn't keep that sort of natural look, but say if you were going up on deck or something like that. Now, are you allowed to go up on deck here in third class? Yeah, so if you went up on deck or something like that, then your hair wouldn't be inclined so much to blow in the wind and you will retain your look and not look so scruffy. That's it, isn't it? But yeah, well you're hanging over the balcony. Yeah, yeah, it's quite breezy out there, so that's probably what's happened to your hair. Okay, all that sea breeze gets to it. 
had. So, do you love your hair? Of course you do. It's because I cut it. Okay, so I'm just going to pop this like that. So your holiday destination, I know you've got a really great trip planned. And so this is time for you to completely relax and zone out. You can get all the perks and extra things when you're on a cruise ship. And there's all sorts of things going on here for you to enjoy. And just get that time to yourself, which is important here on Falcon cruise, cruise ships. So do enjoy yourself, okay? Don't wreck that hair. I'll probably see you and make sure it's looked after as well. Remember, comb it, wash it, comb it, style it. And then maybe at the end of the holiday, it might have grown a little bit more. I could come back and shape that up for you. Yeah. Well, you have paid an exceptional amount of money to be aboard this cruise ship, so I'm sure it's very least we can do. So I hope you enjoy it. Okay, we're just gonna. Does that feel a little bit better? Yeah, a little bit more loose. Oh, yeah, you're looking, you're looking really good. Perfect. Ah, take care of yourself. Cheerio. Oh, every, yeah, don't worry about all that. Uh, I'll send someone out to collect all that. You don't mind that, all my stuff there, do you? No, it's just touched you. I mean, you could throw it off the edge if you want or something like that, but whatever you'd like. Good night. Take care of Sancho.